I'm Gary Jablonski, the Product Development Manager for Infotainment Systems at Ford. Cool. And we are looking at... We're in a 2011 a new... Edge, our, the new Ford Edge, and it's equipped with the My Ford Touch Entertainment System. Okay. And that's right here, the multi-modal. So re it really includes everything that is that is in, in front of the driver, right? Maybe if we work from left to right a little bit. Okay. Um, starting with the steering wheel, one of the things the customer is going to notice right away are two, two five-way controllers. Uh, we've tried to use controls in the car that are familiar to customers. So virtually every cell phone on the planet now has a five-way control. Mm -hmm. um, in the car's case, the left five-way controller relates to that left screen ahead of you. So the left screen contains all the information about vehicle controls, um, settings for things like automatic door locks, automatic headlamps, parking aid, um, your trip computer, and, and those types of features are in the left control. So this corresponds yep. with that back menu, which is very logical. And then as you would suspect, this one corresponds to the right, the right menu. Okay. The right menu in the instrument cluster duplicates information that's available in, in the large center screen, but provides a simple way with the, for the driver with their hands on the wheel to, to provide basic control for your entertainment system. You can change your radio station or change the music you're listening to, make, make a phone call, choose a recent destination, control your climate. So again, it's part, part of the Ford strategy is to provide a way for the driver to do the most frequent functions, keeping their hands on the wheel all the time. Okay, so climate is lit up right now. It's in right. white, so what does that mean? So these, this is the main menu, right? Mm -hmm. Entertainment, and you'll notice it changes colors. Okay, I see, um, so that's live. Those colors match the colors that are in, in the center stack, and then if you push to the right, you're on climate, or on any one of those if you okay. push to the right. And then the middle set, hits OK, so we're going to go into entertainment. Did I do that correctly? Not quite. So once you're on entertainment, if you want to see your options, the little arrow to the right, we Got it. push it to the right. And then you could choose if you wanted to listen to, for example, Sirius, we could say OK. And it changes to Sirius Radio for you. OK. You and Your Heart by Jack Johnson. <laughs> OK, and then the voice navigation controls to do the same thing. Yeah, so for example, so we have the, the voice button on the steering wheel. That's what the customer has to push before the system will start listening. That makes sure she doesn't listen to conversation and try to take an action. Please say a command. Entertainment? Or is that not uh -huh. what she's Try saying a device name like phone, navigation, climate, or USB. USB for asking what can I say will always bring up a list of active commands. What, what can I say? Some other device names are audio, CD, or radio. If you have a subscription, you can also you can say travel link or serious main menu. Say a command. USB. USB. And then this is what's on there. So you can say USB. Play artist. Say a command. Play. Okay. Uh, play artist the Beatles. Playing artist the Beatles. So what the system does is there's a two USB ports, an SD card slot, this is where the navigation data is actually stored for the navigation system, and RCA jacks for audio and video into the system. But we just asked it to play the Beatles, so she went out, looked at all the music that's on this thumb drive, made an index of it, um, and she has actually found 27 songs by the Beatles. So now the system will play those 27 songs. And if I want to change for. it to a specific song, I just say the specific song. Yeah, so here's a list of songs. So if you wanted to play Green Eyes by Coldplay, you would just push the voice button and say, play song, Green Eyes. Okay, let's try it. Please say a command. Play song. Green Eyes. Playing song help. You need to fit, play song and the title of the song. Sorry, so. okay, let's try again. Play song. Oh, no, wait, let's go back to her. <laughs> Please say a command. Play song, green eyes. Playing song, green eyes. And now it's going to move into it. But we were talking about various ways that you could say you could get the same result. So I could say... Yeah, so one of the issues... Um, in our current sync product that we're selling the customers today, you actually have to say play track, green eyes. If you try to say play song, green eyes, it won't work. 
So um, the new thing is the flattening out of the voice navigation system. So part system. of it, part of it is flattening. So if I give it, you know, the, the best example of flattening is one of the things our customers have an issue with today is they sit down in the car and they want to make a phone call. They push the voice button and they say, call somebody right away. And today we insist you have to say phone first. So I have to say phone and then wait for her to respond. And then I say, call Alan. In this case, we've brought that most common used feature, calling somebody from your phone book, right to the top level of the menu. So you can just push the voice button and say, call Alan. Please say a command. Call Alan. Calling Alan at work. So, and who's Alan, by the way, that we're calling? <laughs> um, this is Alan Hall, and it's actually dialing our operator. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Welcome to Ford Motor Company's Directory Assistance Center. So again, Center. you can you use the steering wheel controls phone. here to end the call right in front of you. Okay. Right? So you don't have to control your phone, and you don't have to take your hands off the Switch wheel. Switch to, it's very nice. Um, to do that. And then it goes back to the previous command, which was green eyes mm -hmm. and play. Um, so we've done, on the voice system, so one thing was flattening out the menus so that it's less structured and more natural for the customer to interact with the system. The other thing our engineers have done, along with our technology partner for Voice Nuance, is we've done customer research and we've tried to find out, customers don't generally read owner's manuals, at least not for cars, so we try to find out when a customer sits down in the car and pushes the voice button, what are they going to say without reading a manual? And whatever they're going to say, we try to have the system be, be able to deal with. Right? So an example would be around climate control. Um, if I want to make it hotter say or a cooler. Command. Climate control. Climate. Say a so command. Warmer, colder. warmer. Increasing temperature. So we could do that demo again, and we could say make it warmer. We could say hotter. Um, you could say a specific temperature if you wanted it to be 74 or 76 degrees. Is there a list of commands? I mean, there's 10,000 commands, so you're so not going to memorize. This you can take with you, right? But okay. it's it's a list of uh, a pretty comprehensive list of the uh, of the commands that are available, and it's broken down by uh, our basic phone commands, our basic entertainment commands. Um, the engineers do say the total list is 10,000. Um, I haven't seen the list of 10,000 myself. So presumably, the most frequent ones that you're going to use, you're going to memorize pretty quickly. Yeah. So one last question, just because I, I didn't understand the whole uh, iPhone synchronization. Uh, right now you're supporting the iPhone in terms of, my understanding was that you could sync up in advance also from here and bring content back and forth or only one way? Um, so I'm not sure what you're talking about. So, you know, our cars today are completely compatible with the iPhone for making phone calls, right? Downloading your phone book, using the iPhone as a phone. And they're completely compatible with the iPhone to play music. So instead of having a USB stick plugged into this port, you could bring the white cable that you plug into the iPhone and iPod then. iPhone and iPod. Oh, okay, right? both. So um, if you either an iPhone or an iPod, if you plug it into here with the same cable that you use at home to plug it into your computer, um, we could play music and it would be the same experience just like you asked for this Coldplay song. I see. You could choose anything off your iPod. Which is really nice. And I think the other thing that you may have heard in the meeting earlier though was song tagging. I don't know if that's what you're referring to. Um, but with HD radio now, um, we are able to get song artist and title information uh, from live radio. Mm -hmm. And what we've enabled with Apple, um, it's a feature that, that Apple offers as part of iTunes. If I'm listening to the radio and I happen to like this song, I can push this button called tag. And what the tag button does is if we had an iPod plugged in, it would send the information about that song to your iPod. And later, when you take your iPod into your home and plug it into iTunes, you'd get a pop-up on iTunes that says, hey, here's a list of songs that you liked while you were driving your car, and it gives you the opportunity then to buy them from iTunes. Hmm, interesting, nice. And then the last one that I thought was um, pretty interesting was the um, uh, navigation in terms of, you know, I'd like to find the closest restaurant or I'd like to find shoe stores uh, priorities for women of course yep. um, so that and that's also done by voice navigation yeah so if you just push the voice button and say find a shoe store please say a command find a shoe store and where would you like to search nearby or in a city nearby
say a line number. Okay. Um, so do I need? Sorry. To... Say line one, for example, so or say these, none of those. You could just... I see. Line one. You can also use the screen to select a line number. So I can just presumably yep. push it and off we go. So I can check when out. When ready, Choose press the voice button and then say <laughs> set as destination. So if we wanted that as the destination, we can set it as the destination. Interesting. And then off we go. Very cool. Thank you. You're welcome.